welcome back to the channel it's um, it's gonna be a, a different video than I normally post today um, I received my um, surgery date from my bariatric surgery um, this is a, a path I've been on a couple of times this is the third time that I've been on and this is the the, the one that I'm going through with um, I was on the the program pre-COVID. Um, I it, it's it's a long wait to to get this surgery, and I slipped a little um, when I went to see my dietitian. My dietitian suggested that we postpone the surgery. That had me spiraling. That wasn't good for my mental health. I um, stepped away from that program. I then moved somewhere else within the province and I started again. If I had a, a friend, partner, significant other, whatever you want to call that person who said, don't worry, don't go on the program, it's not good for your mental health, let me look after you, let me do all the cooking, let me prepare everything, and didn't follow through. So that was a, a, another time that the program, I didn't follow through with the program. This time though, it's just working for me. I have been on a Zempic, and that has really helped. So my starting weight, sorry, my heaviest weight uh, was 303 pounds. Um, I have been on a Zempic for, oh, I don't know, about eight months now. And I'm down, my last weight in was 231, 232. So it's about 65 pounds that I've lost. Um, my goal weight is around about the 150 140 150 pounds mark or wherever my body decides it's going to be comfortable and where it decides it wants to be it wants to stop I know I have to do the bariatric surgery because I know I can't do this on my own I know I need I need the tool that is the bariatric surgery to help me I'm going for the, the, the bypass, the room and why. Um, I believe that will give me the greatest success. Um, I do suffer from acid reflux. So the um, vertical gastric sleeve is probably not the best idea for me. And I believe that the bypass will give me the greatest success. So that's coming up in three weeks. <laughs> I start my liquid diet next week um, and I have a number of um, appointments that I need to go to um, next week so visiting the the nurse visiting the dietitian visiting um, internal medicine doctors um, going for my pre-admission check-ins check-ups so that's all coming up and so I will follow up um, with everybody on, on the outcome of those. I'm, I'm equally excited and scared. Um, I'm excited because I know this is going to help me so much and I need that help. I'm scared because so much of my social life is is based around food and friends and eating out and and also the times that I've I, I'm, I'm single so I've, I've lived alone a lot and food tends to be my friend my company my my, my pick me up my food is what I what joins me to, to watch TV in the evenings um, food is I is, I would go out just to have interaction with someone and nine times out of ten that would be going out to a restaurant having that interaction with uh, with the wait staff just to have someone to talk to um, so the operation itself is the 8th of August um, today oh, I don't know what today is um, July 14th 
So start the liquid diet on July 25th and then two weeks after that. So um, I want to be kept accountable. I want to be kept on track. But I also want to uh, come back to you with how things are going. Um, what's working for me, what's not working for me, what I'm struggling with, what I'm finding not too bad. Um, so I, I, if you want to, to follow along, you know, the old like some like and subscribe and <laughs> that will uh, keep you updated when I post new stuff hopefully I can post new stuff um, every couple of weeks um, I want to do one after I've seen the internal medicine doctor I'll do one maybe when I'm starting the liquid diet uh, do one when I'm going in for the op and one when I'm coming out from the op and my recovery and my my path. So um, I will I'll come back to you in a couple of weeks. Um, I'll probably post again at the end of uh, next week when I have seen everybody. Uh, but I, I do hope you, you can come along, you can join me. Um, you can be my cheerleaders <laughs> um yeah it's gonna be a big one it's gonna be it's gonna be a huge life change it's I, I was thinking about how hard it's going to be because so much of my my lifestyle is going out with friends eating everything is revolving around food life revolves around food it's it's knowing that my my meals are going to be this big. I it's it's going to be a huge change not only to my body but to my to my thinking as well. So yeah, please join me and uh, I'll keep you updated. Take care. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.